Today I have a list of 20 new and upcoming zombie games that are for sure going to knock your socks off. Nothing beats mowing down the undead in countless horrifying waves with your back against the wall. My goal in this video is to showcase the absolute best zombie offerings on the market today. I bet there's one game on this list you've never heard of before. Retrieval is a cinematic horror and action-adventure game. The plot follows the experiences of Hana, a commander of a research team on a planet 18.6 billion miles away from Earth, fall by accident in a subway base where she will discover all the horrors that the base hides. Once Human is a multiplayer open-world survival game set in a strange post-apocalyptic future. Unite with friends to fight monstrous enemies, uncover secret plots, compete for resources, and build your own territory. Once, you were merely human. Now, you have the power to remake the world. Pine Harbor was once a small fishing town on the shores of the North Atlantic Ocean, but everything changed as a result of a technological disaster. Explore the town, gather resources, craft equipment to help its residents, uncover secrets and stories while traversing through the depths of the dark forests. Go downstairs to the basement and lock the door. Don't open the door to anyone. Hellbreach Vegas is a wave-based first-person shooter. Kill, earn cash, and take a spin on machines to survive till the next round. Play solo or in a team of up to four and escape the Hellbreach. Persevere through endless rounds in our survive mode to see bodies pile up and go for a high score. Into the Dead. Our Darkest Days is a side-scrolling shelter survival game that tasks you with guiding a desperate group of zombie apocalypse survivors to safety. Craft weapons, scavenge resources, balance your group's needs, and try to get everyone out of danger alive. Stay alive. <laughs> John Carpenter's Toxic Commando is a new and upcoming FPS shooter where you take control as one of the commandos mowing down hordes of zombies solo or with friends. Toxic Commando has buddy movie vibes and the over-the-top humor, action, and horror of classic 80s cinema inspired by the legendary John Carpenter.
Ill is a narrative-driven first-person survival horror game that transports you to a sinister settlement with the goal of uncovering the unsettling truth behind its descent into bloodthirsty madness. Brace yourself for an intense body horror with an advanced dismemberment system, dynamic enemy behavior, complex weapon mechanics, an immersive interactive world, and strategic survival and crafting all contributing to an unforgettable visceral journey into despair. Project Z Beyond Order is a first-person shooter set in a World War II zombie scenario on a secret German island. The game focuses on the threat of Project Z, a clandestine program run by the Nazis to turn zombies, which have been discovered on the island earlier, into weapons to help turn the tide of the war in Nazi Germany's favor. In your hideout, you can craft weapons, ammo, and other consumables. No More Room in Hell 2 is the sequel to the 2011 award-winning Source mod. You and your fellow survivors must make your way through a diseased world that has seen the dead rise to feast on the living, explore, scavenge, and survive together in eight-player co-op against hordes of the undead who feel no pain and will stop at nothing to get you. Not yet. Not yet. I'm not done yet. Human at Z is a co-op, isometric, open-world survival game in a world ended by the zombie outbreak. As one of the few human survivors, try to last as long as humanly possible. Craft, build, defend and survive against the zombie hordes. Long Gone is an upcoming game that offers a fresh take in the zombie genre. This game stands out due to its emphasis on puzzle solving rather than pure action providing a unique blend of cerebral challenges and survival horror. Echoes of the Living is a survival horror with fixed cameras, inspired by the 90s greatest hits, but with updated visuals and fully 3D environments with current-gen graphics. 
not longer after, the locals get sick, and panic runs all over the place. Nobody knows how or why the dead walks on the streets. A few hours later, all that is left in the town are the echoes of the living. In Paradise Project, you will fight, hack, and survive. Alone or with friends, explore a mysterious open world infested by zombies. Collect materials, craft weapons, and fight for your life. In this zombie game, there's a twist. You'll learn how to hack the undead and use them to assist in fighting, protecting, or farming. Blight, survival is a medieval cooperative extraction light pitting you and up to three other players against mortals and monsters in a desperate attempt to reach and destroy the source of the blight, a deadly affliction that plagues the land. The game takes place in the no man's land between two desperate kingdoms in a ceaseless war. Within this purgatory, a new strain of blight has erupted from remains of the fallen. My ass doesn't feel too sorry. Keep looking. <laughs> Holston is a psychological survival horror game set in an eerie, isolated 90s Polish town consumed by an ominous presence. You've come looking for answers, but everyone seems possessed by something foul. Explore the festering town, interrogate locals, and fight ungodly manifestations to get to the truth. Scavenge for scarce supplies and weapons to fight off the twisted monstrosities now roaming the darkest corners of the town. Kiedy to będzie wszystko gotowe? Show American Story features a free-flowing and brutal combat style. Players will fight against hordes of zombies and monsters, moving, attacking, and dodging in countless fast-paced combat situations. Players are encouraged to choose all kinds of distinguishing weapons that satisfy their combat style and use different attack moves and abilities to fight their way out among different types of zombies, monsters, and bosses. <laughs> Killing Floor 3 is the next installment in the legendary action horror series. This intense FPS puts you in the boots of a Nightfall specialist joining forces with up to five teammates to battle waves of Zeds, earn Dosh, unlock skills, and build the ultimate arsenal.
State of Decay 3 where the dead have risen and civilization has fallen. Now it's up to you to gather survivors, scavenge for resources, and build a community in a post-apocalyptic open-world survival fantasy game set just after the zombie apocalypse. A world where you define what it means to survive in this ultimate zombie survival simulation. Arizona Sunshine 2, the next-gen sequel to the fan-favorite VR apocalypse, packs even more gorgeous zombie action. Narrated by the unmistakable quips of the dark-humored protagonist, Arizona Sunshine 2 sets you on an all-new limb-strewn adventure in search of answers. Experience the thrill of realistic combat as you wield all new and fan-favorite weapons from shotguns to machetes and even flamethrowers. Station Zero. God, all this damn Oh, for patient zero, like he hasn't made me suffer enough, you know? Patient zero, asshole, motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get this party going! Heads up, Fred! Kaboom! Just stay with me, stay with me. It's gonna be okay, bud. It's gonna be okay. The Day Before is a post-apocalyptic open-world MMO survival game set in the present day on the United States East Coast following a deadly junk. pandemic. Players can explore New Fortune City and its surroundings, fight players in PvP using realistic weapons, complete quests, build their own houses, buy cars, experience day and night cycles, and face deadly zombies. Well, well, who do I see here? How's it going, my friends? 